How to perform comparable company analysis. We're going to outline six steps of how an analyst goes about performing comparable company analysis. The first thing is to build a list of comparable companies that you're going to use to evaluate the one in question. You can research this on Bloomberg, Capital IQ, or from equity research reports and narrow it down to a list of the top companies that you want to use. Once you have your list, you can go to Edgar or the company's website and download the financial information that you need. Then you're going to download three to five years of historical data. This means you need the company's annual reports and quarterly reports. You'll be using the income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and the notes to the financial statements. You'll extract from those financials the revenue, gross profit, EBITDA, EBIT, net income, etc., and other important information like the number of shares outstanding, historical share prices, and other key information. Then, once you have the historical information, you're going to get forward-looking information. That means finding forecasts from equity research reports or getting it from Bloomberg or Capital IQ and the company's forward-looking guidance as well, if they provide it. You'll want the main income statement and cash flow items here for the forecast. Once you have all that information, you can build the table. So you can start by calculating the market capitalization and enterprise value. Then you can use the financial information to build the ratios, growth rates, and margins, etc. in the table. And then finally, you can compare and adjust the numbers, including normalizations or including and excluding other companies. And finally, arrive at what you believe is a reflective range of valuation for the company in question. 